now on to today's program. One of the most infamous uh, bad movies from the 90s, I feel. It's Anaconda. Ooh. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. And we hate movies. <laughs> Welcome to We Hate Movies on the Sideshow Network. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Now, this week, yeah, we know Chris Cavan still isn't here. He's coming, okay? I think I think by spooktacular, he'll be haunting the studio yet again. <laughs> That's right. But you're still stuck with just us three for a while, talking about the, the legendary, almost, I'd say, Anaconda from 1997, directed by Luis Yosa. Um... This movie is terrible fun. It's it's a lot of you know it makes me miss um uh, uh it makes me miss big budget monster movies because we've all all of those have gone to sci fi. But you're saying budget. that this is a big budget monster movie in air quotes. Wait, I mean, it's right. a major it's, it, release. And you're right. saying sci fi has big budget monster movies? <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying is those movies have moved to sci fi and right. they're all have gotten so winky and so like schlocky. That it's like, like what's the, why even watch it? I, I can't mean, watch these fucking Sharknado movies. That's why I need to watch this this kind of movie where it's trying to be a real movie. It's failing like this. Like Congo is like that. This movie though. And Congo, to a lesser extent, this movie knows that it's stupid, though. Sure. Congo's like, we're really fucking doing it. Yeah. We yeah, are right. doing it with yeah, Congo. Yeah, this is like Jurassic Park with apes. Yeah, this is more like, we're making a shitty Saturday million dollar movie kind of a thing. Like, throwback to those like bad 50s adventure jungle movies. And I want, I want more of these movies, to be quite honest. Not like direct to DV sequels. I want, like, you know, like, get me, I don't know, Channing Tatum fight the fucking. You know, I don't know, a, a giant spider. Right. Yeah. Make it stupid as yep. anything. Yep. He <laughs> needs a spider, Adam. I yeah. really agree. You know what I think looks kind of cool? And, like, listen, I'll probably be proven wrong upon its release. Uh -oh. But that Kong Skull Island? Sure. Did oh, you see the preview I for I did that? not even see the preview. Because I'm like, Kong Skull Island, come on. That's what I was, too, dude. But I just, I do that thing. You know, you do that thing. You get the yeah. internet wormhole of just watching sure. trailers. Yeah, yeah. I was doing that. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know the trailer for this was so out. Now, in this one, what is it? Is it a giant skull? No, it takes place in the 1970s. Oh, shit. And this like team of people led by Samuel L. Jackson goes to the island, uh -huh. including one John Goodman. John Goodman. Wh 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 what? Actually, yeah. I think it might be led by John Goodman. Oh. I, I don't remember the trailer too right. well. And but John Goodman's kind of like a shit heel in the movie. It and looks they're like. stealing cocaine from who? So <laughs> Yeah, That's I the only reason to go to Skull Island is like there might be monsters, but there's probably a lot of cocaine. Well, because that's the thing. I don't think that we're making a movie. Like uh -huh. we're going there for some other reason. I don't yeah. really remember what it is. Cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> let, 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 let me jump in. It's cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cocaine. Uh -huh. uh, Coco, cocaine. <laughs> but King Kong is enormous in this movie. Apparently, like the, his head is bigger than a helicopter, which is different for me in yeah. my King Kongs. Yeah. Now it. Um, he's a big guy. <laughs> But it's like Sam Jackson's like yelling at people. The monster looks cool. Like I didn't like this dude's Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, oh, is I, it is it the same it's gentleman? Just, it's the same director Gareth Edwards from yeah. uh, Rogue One as well, I'm pretty, which looks pretty. It good. might be the producers. I don't think oh, Gareth Edwards it's, directed it's from the, brought from the to guys you. that brought you <laughs> big fucking monster. <laughs> from the guys that brought you Anaconda. <laughs> oh no way! That's not happening. From the guys no, who brought no, you no. Anaconda. No, that's definitely not happening. No, um, it's Jordan Vote Roberts who's the, the director of it. And that guy did... Oh, this movie called Kings of Summer. But I, I believe it's the producers of the, 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 the Godzilla movie. From the guys who brought you Godzilla. And the 40-year-old virgin comes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that 40-year-old virgin guys? Yeah, the, the, that those was guys around still forever. Put, I think they're still doing that. Are we still getting no, mileage out of that? No, Sausage Party from the guys who brought you This is the End. Right. Anybody see that sausage party? Nah, sorry. Right. No. Maybe totally I'll fine. see you in a couple months. Uh, we'll yeah. Uh, you know what? I fucking saw a food fight already. <laughs> yeah. Thanks it, anyway. So Jennifer Lopez. Oh, right. Anaconda. Is a uh, uh, aspiring director who gets plucked out of film school by 
none other than Eric Stoltz, and they have sizzling sexual chemistry, Do don't they? they? Oh no, my god, it's like, dude, it's like a wet rag fucking a tired sponge. <laughs> Now I kind of want to see that. Is that in Sausage Party? <laughs> Was that racist? I don't know what you just said. It's just two no, wet, <laughs> floppy things yes. fucking. <laughs> it just sounded wrong. Yeah, no. Well, the, it sounded wrong. This the the chemistry is wrong in this movie. You're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your new catchphrase for season seven. I like Please it. no. <laughs> yeah, too late. Sorry, dude. We got like 40 some odd episodes to go. Uh, If you see me in L.A. this week, kill me. (laughs) Hey, this guy. Kablam. (laughs) So, but uh, wait, I got I got to stop everything. I'm sorry, because there's something in this movie that is it's so criminally wrong when movies do it this way. You're starting with a scroll and it's a silent scroll. Yeah. Where is James Earl? Where is anybody? Where is a ninja? Also, like, why (laughs) not a ninja scroll? I do not you. I do not. That might come to Patreon one day. <laughs> Eric, you're so bad. <laughs> so, I'm, like, I'm like a power glove. <laughs> no, so it's a scroll telling you what a fucking anaconda is. A, like, yes, I knew it was in the 90s. Before this movie came out, not a lot of people knew what an anaconda is. But I'm not going to get lost in your giant snake movie, guys. Oh, as a zoologist, I have to say that the film Anaconda was responsible for really piquing interest about the big old girl. <laughs> I had so many questions I had to field about anacondas when I gave tours of the snake house. I got three emails that week. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of emails. Oh, it, was real, it was like Grand Central Station in here. <laughs> One was about my overdraft fee. <laughs> Oh, that tickled me. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a. But it's all. It's no. I'm sorry, but it's also like a. It's the bottom paragraph is facts about anacondas. The top part is like a from the dawn of civilization. Oh, of course, Monsters from, from the gods who brought you <laughs> Loch Ness <laughs> comes anacondas. It's just such a useless scroll and nobody's saying anything and it really bothers me. And I don't me. I mean I saw this in theaters. I do not remember that scroll at all. Yeah, I don't. You remember went to it the theater. For Absolutely, I, I think I did too. Yeah. Wow! Oh, this was a this was a grocery store rental for me. Oh, it was no. like this. I think this is an August movie. Yeah, I'm, this I might was be a hot that summer night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, we went out to the theater together. <laughs> yes, before we twenty years before we knew each other. Yeah. <laughs> um. So whatever. Uh, so yeah, she's plucked out of film school to make basically like a. You know, National Geographic type thing. Are documentaries made this way, by the way? Let's get a bunch of people on a boat and just see what the fuck happens. Uh, yeah, a lot of them. They just don't come out, right? Yeah, they just get, sure everybody gets a, murdered. The problem is all these, all these film people are just like, yeah, we're making a movie. And it oh, never, man. never actually gets made, right? Yeah, there's a lot of like, you know, hot air getting blown. Yeah. But like, yeah, like you're making nature documentaries like this. Sure. Like, you just get down there with a the crew. But, but with here's my thing though: with talent, that the British guy shouldn't be on this boat. I feel no. Oh, Jonathan be... Hyde from Jumanji's the dad from <laughs> Jumanji. Yeah, and he's like, oh, hello, I'm doing a bad Peter O'Toole impression this entire movie. Yeah, and I don't know if this is supposed to be like a David Attenborough, probably surrogate kind of thing. He is dressed quite fancy in this film but also like i feel like once once talent is involved it's like okay we're gonna do the documentary first right we're gonna go all the way down we're gonna do everything get all the footage and then we're gonna fly this guy in for two days he's not gonna get the boat and sleep on a boat no well i guess it depends upon what kind of dumb nature documentary you're trying to make if it's a thing where he's just narrating fine but this dude is in front of the camera he's a personality he's like the crocodile hunter (laughs) (laughs) can you imagine how boring crocodile hunter would have been if steve Irwin was just like hanging back in front of a green screen (laughs) Yeah, I guess that's fair. You want that motherfucker fright and center on this adventure. So he is, uh, we are looking for a lost tribe of such and such. Yes. We're not looking for anacondas. We don't care about anacondas. It's like, no. The people of the mist. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's some like some, you know, abandoned society and or Eric something. Eric Stoltz is like a producer, but also like a tribe hunter, I guess. Or hunter's tribe probably a bad hunter. word. <laughs> Eric Stoltz, tribe hunter. He's uh, an explorer. Yes. He's, as he, it were. He's got an ascot. Uh, and Ice Cube <laughs> is the cameraman. Oh, sure. 
a good Ice Cube in this movie. Ice Cube is very memorable in this film. Uh, and then you've got uh, Owen, Owen Wilson, Wilson and Carrie Wurr as like sound people and production people. And, like, yeah, she's the producer. He's the sound guy. They're fucking. He's in his ha- haunting. Uh, yep, I'm in this movie. I'm going to try and make it memorable sort of before I get murdered. As, <laughs> like, you as, know he's dead the second you oh, see Oh, sure. Because he's the guy. He's kind of cracking jokes. He's smoking weed at the beginning of the film. Mm-hmm. It's all there. Is the he- menu for him to be murdered has been set up. <sighs> did he audition for Twister? And I bet you he did. Sure. He had to. Oh, like, sure. Oh, yeah, we're going to find, find, find some... Oh, oh hey, find we're, 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 we're going to... Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get in the suck zone, right, everybody? The suck zone. Oh, I'm no. auditioning for Dusty. <laughs> oh, no. I got it. Oh, <laughs> is this like an old farmer you're doing? Oh, no, it's... it's, <laughs> it's uh, Owen it's, Wilson. It's supposed to be Owen Wilson. Yeah. Oh, hey! <laughs> Because in this movie, he still got his, like, I'm born in Texas voice. Yes. Mm, he hasn't yeah. quashed that quite Hey, yet. man. You know, it's a, whatever yeah. that thing is. <laughs> whatever, uh, whatever the fuck Owen Wilson's doing in this movie. So they get on a boat, run... B- oh, actually, no. The first scene of this movie is Danny Trejo killing himself. Oh, right. Like, oh, which is... Because, right. like, apparently, like, he's on this, like, boat and, like, I guess Andacondas are after him. Yeah. And he just, like... Like he like climbs up to the crow's nest and just blows his own brains out. You would rather that really... than the terror of being killed by a big snake. I guess this that's is the idea. The Steve Sadak oh, story, yeah. right? Because oh, you absolutely. always say you're going to kill yourself in a horror movie at a certain point. And I was watching this this morning, and I was like, "That's Steve." <laughs> I've never, I can't believe they cast Danny Trejo as Steven Sadak. <laughs> That's the only time that that would ever be accurate is Danny Trejo could play me is the time he kills himself in, in a cowardly way. Well, the height matches up. <laughs> and Can the I... weight, but not distributed differently. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what's one of the biggest history's mysteries for me? What's that? How, sure. how is it that I can scroll like the bowels of Hulu horror yeah. or like Netflix pathetic horror section or whatever? And there's like no less than two or three Danny Trejo vehicles flittering about. Dude, that guy's oh, also a- action, right? The bad, the badass trilogy. Yeah, like all just all of those like they shouldn't exist direct streaming movies. The schlocky winking. You know it's Danny Trejo, so he's gonna act like Danny Trejo. Was, yeah, like what? I don't understand how Danny Trejo's a thing in that way. I can't believe what's happened to this industry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. The Danny Trejo industry, <laughs> <laughs> movies, man, yeah. it's like try and and fail on you know. And Danny Trejo's not a bad actor; like he's no, good he's, in Heat. Just like yeah. setting yourself up to be a a shit movie, it's just yeah. so annoying. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, yeah, the other side of it is like everybody's got to eat. I'm yeah. just saying, yeah. like, put Danny Trejo in shit that's worthwhile. Mm-hmm. Like put Danny a- Trejo, while great, is not a dude. Who should be starring in his own vehicles? I mean, like you know, the, the fun Robert Rodriguez thing—that's like a—they're just buddies, and they're just going to do that anyway. But sure. like, he doesn't need to be like I don't need a sub machete. You know what I mean? Like machetes as low as it gets. That's what I'm talking about—the sub machetes. Why are we making <laughs> sub machetes? <laughs> so he kills himself. Oh, he's because- dead instantly. Which is, you know, what's actually admirable, and I think it's because the cast is literally so small. Danny Trejo for his. 130 seconds on screen he makes those opening credits oh yeah like, I, Danny I, Trejo's I, not the final credit I haven't seen this since the 90s and I was like I was like oh wow oh, all right let's see what this Danny is. Trejo's in this movie I totally oh, no forgot. he's not yeah I totally <laughs> forgot too well, it, 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 he's kind of like the Drew Barrymore of this movie a little yeah. bit, right? <laughs> right. He gets the call, and it's like the snake is coming from inside the boat. <laughs> My boyfriend's going to be here any second, and he's big, and he's strong, and plays football, and he's going to kick your ass. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Oh no, my popcorn's burning! Oh <laughs> shit, man! <laughs> Tortuga burned the popcorn! <laughs> oh man. Oh, Trejo. Yeah, so he's dead. That's like the start. That's our post scroll. Also, in this movie, do you guys notice this? Right when it's like title card, Anaconda, and it like goes, like it, it fades into like a shot of the river and whatnot. Mm-hmm. There is a dead body just like oh, yeah. in the corner of the frame. There's like a dead guy hanging out. That's sure. Wait, weird. what? No, I don't think I saw that. Is this like one of those rumors like in The Wizard of Oz? They were like, 
Like, hey, a little person hung himself in the background. <laughs> and they kept filming for some reason. No, no we can't get this shot. Keep it rolling. <laughs> it's not that. It's just like, because it's like a sign. Like early uh-huh. on, like, oh, the snake's about. Kind oh. of thing. There's just a, like a dead body, and the camera like instantly moves away from it. It wow. doesn't pay attention to it at all. It's like a blink and you miss it. So here's the thing. Um, yeah. Danny Trejo... Uh, John Voight, who we'll get to, and Mateo, who is the uh, the boat driver in this movie. Right. Also known as a captain. Okay. <laughs> a boat driver. He's the boat driver. Mateo, I'm your boat driver. <laughs> so he's Uber for boats. <laughs> Boober. That's I like terrible. it. No, That's I like terrible. it. We got to start Boober, dude. <laughs> There's plenty of dockside communities we can service. <laughs> Copyright, we hate movies, boober. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not <laughs> pornography? Dude, oh, that's We're going to set up shop in Venice and kill those, the, kill those, uh, what are they, uh, what are those guys with the sticks? The, the Knights Templar? <laughs> <laughs> Them too, but I meant the, the boats. Oh, oh, the gondola yes. guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, We're going to take two. those over with boober once boober starts hitting the canals. Oh, it's not the Knights Templar because I was thinking Indiana Jones in the last crusade. <laughs> Who I just think are just rotten in Venice. They just you get not bump into the. I guarantee template. you that they are there. So they're all part of a an anaconda hunting team or a snake hunting team, and basically John Voight, after Danny Trejo's tragic death, plans this. Danny Trejo's tragic. I'm sorry. <laughs> plans a long con which makes no sense. Not in the slightest. Because I mean, this is like revealed later in the movie, but who cares? Is that basically he's going to pretend that his boat broke down. Mateo is going to pretend he doesn't know him. Let John Voight on this boat. (laughs) And then he's going to... Now they've got a crew of snake hunters against their will. Like, just hijack a boat or buy a boat. I don't know, man. How fucking... How expensive could that boat be? The presumption that these people are going to help you. Like, it's it's just as if, like... It's as if Robert Shaw... Uh, uh, kidnapped Richard <laughs> Dreyfus yes. and made him go hunt that shark with him. No, no. like what are you talking about? Don't just you're bother. right. Just steal a boat and then yeah. you guys go hunt a fucking snake. I don't need. Don't bring Owen Wilson and Jennifer Lopez on the on this adventure. <laughs> Certainly not. Neither of them are going to be helpful. So uh, Jennifer Lopez and Eric Stoltz have no chemistry, but are in, are, are engaged in a sexual relationship. Oh, I thought you were about to say they were engaged to be married, and I was like, where did I miss that detail no, from? They're just they're just fucking around. Yeah. So so Eric Stoltz stars in Out of His League. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez actually, this is like probably one of her first vehicles aside from Selena, and I don't know which one came out first. But uh, the the Selena, Selena yeah. did. I think this was either the same year or the previous year from Out of Sight, which okay. was like the big thing. I right. think Jennifer Lopez is a pretty good actress. She's never been a great actress, and she's never. Oh, grown. I never saw Angel Eyes. Oh. I saw Angel Eyes in the theater. <laughs> you fall asleep and die. <laughs> It's the most boring movie that ever happened. Yeah. It sucks so hard. I don't even know if it's an episode. That movie's just terrible. Uh, did, uh, me and my brother watched that movie once because we thought it was about ghosts, and we kept expecting <laughs> oh, ghosts right. to show up. That's, That's why amazing. I went. Yeah. Really? That poster looked like there was a ghost Tur- turned town. Out, turned out the theater was a ghost town. <laughs> But I think she's like people. I, I guess she's got a rep, a rep as being a bad actress, which is not accurate to me. Like she's I, really good I, and out of sight. She's year, great. It, out I of can sight. confirm from the Tribune that was ninety eight. She's yeah. not good in Money Train, but I mean that movie's that's not really much of a role. I, I don't think she's great. I, but yeah, I, I don't I, know. I, I think she's just a good actress. I don't think she's got a great screen presence. Okay, that's it's just me. which is fair. That's yeah. fair. I liked her doing voice work in Ants. Oh right, <laughs> is that the Woody Allen one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me and Sylvester Stallone with ants. Oh, we're just ants in this movie. Isn't it crazy? My ants got glasses. Of Fucking course it does. Whatever. Um, so, at least you're we're, not a bee. Oh, no. I've been turned into a bee, a Jerry Seinfeld bee. Uh, you know what's crazy in this movie? Who I mean, are so- these ants? <laughs> Man, ants versus B movie. Yes. Yeah, like that. that needs to happen. Sure. Let's make it work. Um, there's a really the, the effects in this movie are terrible. Yes. But not just like the snake effects. There's a moment 
earlier on in the movie where it's like, oh, things might be getting dangerous. And so, so they pick up John Voight, right? We got like, John oh, Voight. no, my bow broke down. It's me, John Voight, in his movie. No, ha, ha, I'm <laughs> playing a Peruvian <laughs> or whatever, or a Panamanian or something. It's horseshit, and this accent should go to jail. Oh, <laughs> if anyone should be jailed for an accent, it's John Voight. <laughs> It is insane. I did, like what is it, it? It does sound more like Cajun, I guess. Yeah. But like, what are we doing? Everybody's talking at me. <laughs> Going to jail for doing a bad accent. <laughs> it's so awful. He's got a ponytail. In oh, this the movie. greasiest. Oh, ponytail. I, I kind of like that. It's a he's grease got this, tail. He's got like a perma scowl on his face. He's just yeah. like. Ugh. He's got a bad fake scar. It's it's like he found uh, Al Pacino's Tony Montana uh, character in the garbage it's right like, oh, after it had pretty, a stroke. It just, it just dusted off. It's all right. It's good. It's still good. It's still yeah. good. Let's could use this. Exactly. Uh, Twenty years later, a snake movie. Got it. <laughs> The effects, though, I wanted to point this out because there's another thing I'll, I'll mention later that it confounds me how they made this mistake. But earlier, so he gets on the boat and it's like, oh, is John Voight a bad guy or not? How's the movie going to tell us? There's a moment where lightning flashes, like yes. right after. It is the worst looking lightning. Dude, there was more believable lightning in Todd Browning's Dracula. Mm-hmm. 19. 19- 31 mm-hmm. better lightning than this movie. Oh, it's shit. This movie looks like fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, my bum broke down. And Boober isn't invented yet. I got to get across the river. So wish I could pay for a Boober. I, I pay for it with some gumbo I made. Oh, you hear that the uh, Knights Templar shut down Boober? <laughs> They got booba pushed right out of Venice. <laughs> <laughs> we lost everyone for this episode. The rest of it's just for us. No, we didn't. Someone's making a booba t-shirt right now. <laughs> FYI. Um, so please don't. I know the accent's terrible, but this is life. <laughs> <laughs> please uh, submit to the Patreon. Uh, no, so uh, he's like, oh, I just need to get across there. And Eric's just like, sure, buddy. Come on in. Ah, come on. Yeah, sure. Just what a fucking idiot. And he's like. Well, guys, I mean, how do you think we got this guy here? I think he lives in the jungle. I mean, how are we going to find this lost tribe without him at this point? And, and Ice Cube is like, yo, you know, we can get, uh, you know, we can get Michael J. Fox to replace him, right? <laughs> <laughs> yo, that happened once before. It could happen again. Can you imagine if he got dumped from Anaconda? <laughs> Man, could you imagine Michael J. Fox making out with J-Lo? Oh, my God. How many stool was this would you need? <laughs> Yeah, a couple uh, <laughs> apple crates. <laughs> Are we stranded down river right now? <laughs> <laughs> They're about to be stranded down river, so it's like we're going on this adventure. Eric Stiltz is convinced that this dude is gonna like help him find this tribe, and it's gonna be like we're all gonna make millions, guys. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and um, pretty soon, uh, the propeller jams up, and Eric Stoltz is like, well, I got it! And he jumps into the river, <laughs> and some sort of a, a moth goes in his... his uh, <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it is a, um, like a wasp, they say. A yes. poisonous wasp. So he, wasp. like, swallows it? It was, this is, it's... This is why you would never get me to the jungle, by the way. <laughs> you want to talk about Danny Trejo killing himself in this movie? Yeah. That would be like, hey, Steve, you have to go to the jungle. Kablam. Because <laughs> it's gross and everything. There's all sorts of bugs. Oh, the bugs. Yeah. the bugs. The bugs. I couldn't do it. But this bug, this this hornet or wasp or whatever it is, this poisonous wasp, was in his, like, scuba gear. Poisonous wasp. I was thinking of somewhere else. Hey, Muffy. <laughs> We're going to oh. go down to the jungle, Muffy. Oh, poisonous wasp, babe. I'm going to put some strychnine in his cocktail. <laughs> I'm a poisonous wasp. <laughs> know, this sounds like the worst Batman together. villain of all yes! time. I'm the poisonous wasp, Batman. I was going to say, it's a, it's a forgettable SCTV sketch. <laughs> yes. Same diff. <laughs> Season three Gotham. <laughs> Eric Stoltz as the poisonous wasp. Oh, hey guys, I'm the poisonous wasp. Buzz. Hey, Bruce Wayne, are you grown up yet? Okay, though. No one will still keep watching this show, but it'll come back. <laughs> Isn't that weird that it's like all these villains and there's no Batman? Yeah. Like, what is even going on? Like, how have Gotham they not PD? taken over the town? How, who watch? I mean, like, I know a lot of people and I never hear anyone say, you know, it's a good show, Gotham. I've never. Never heard it. I've never, never heard, heard it once. It. I watched the first three episodes. I fucking promptly tuned out after two and a half. 
Smart move. I don't know. I think our colleague Chris Cabin watched the first season. He said mm. he said it was shitty. Speaking yeah. of shitty, Anaconda. So he gets he's scuba diving to untie this boat, and he does, and then starts like fidgeting and freaking out, and they pull him up. And you, as the movie watcher, have no idea what's happening yep. right now because he's not getting attacked by an anaconda. <laughs> and it's like that's what I rented this for. <laughs> so that's what I'm in the theater for. <laughs> he just starts that con- the air conditioning. Well, yeah, of course. He just starts like convulsing, and they get him up, and it's like, oh, what's in his mouth? And it's like this wasp. And Mateo or somebody's like, oh, that wasp is poisonous. <laughs> Mateo's like, yeah, I don't know where that wasp came from, but I'm pretty sure it's poisonous. And so then you're like, oh, Mateo. <laughs> oh, Mateo, shame on you. <laughs> but then for the rest of this movie, for the most part, Eric Stoltz has taken a nap. John Voight does like the emergency tracheotomy. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is disturbing. Who, listen, this, there's like a medical emergency happening, but you're letting like the wackadoo <laughs> you picked up on a fucking shipwrecked boat yeah. do throat surgery. No. Yeah, okay. What movie was that? The Heat or something where someone does does the emergency tracheotomy and it goes horribly wrong? Oh, it I don't starts know. Bleeding. Oh, In God. Heat, that happens. May- um, I was I was referring to the Sandra Bullock film. Oh, the heat. oh, I saw that movie, I, but I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember. It's in something though. What? Just but, blood just starts have, shooting exactly, everywhere. Exactly. Because yeah. I can I can't imagine that ever going well. No, of course that that, that you don't just let me die. I don't just start grabbing at my throat <laughs> just, to make something happen. Don't start don't start stabbing me while I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, oh, he's having a problem. I want Joe Schlub cutting me open with a pen. That guy with that mysterious shitty accent. Oh, get out of the way, people. I saw a lot of episodes of Dr. House. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. But uh, they do that. They stick a straw in his throat, and th- he takes a nap for the rest of this it's movie. It's amazing the check he must have got for this movie. Because everyone's like, hey, Eric Stoltz, you're, it, look, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening outside of your cabin. You okay? <laughs> just to let you, just checking in. Uh, we're having a crazy time with that drifter you picked up. <laughs> uh, you're still breathing? Okay, great. Back to the movie now. Mm. Bye. You want me to change your videos? <laughs> Put some on some different videos for you. We brought the uh, entire series of MASH on VHS. <laughs> That's to keep you busy. So, yeah, it's just, it. I guess, I don't know. It's slowly just like John Voight takes over the boat, pretty well, much. One thing that, that's really important, my favorite scene in the movie, yes. because, like, they have to get to the anaconda. The anaconda's just not in the jungle. It's in a secret part of the jungle that no one could ever find except for John Secrets. Voight. Because he's a genius. <laughs> but they keep cutting back to the anaconda, just kind of waiting for them. And Secrets. one of the times, he's he's exciting himself by killing a puma. Oh, dude, right. this puma <laughs> murder. And, and, the, and the puma's like, what the fuck? The dude, puma is more surprised than any cat has ever been. This poor puma puppet. I just can't. <laughs> this thing's getting strangled. And this already in this movie, yeah. you see the, 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 the magic dance the tete-a-tete between the anaconda puppet mm. and the anaconda computer animation boy we are vying for which looks shittier in this movie i kind of like the puppet a lot the puppet's like hey how's it going the puppet's great the puppet's real it's tangible he's saying hi he's poking his <laughs> nose through doors this computer thing it's is terrible. it's oh my it's god not there man oh, it is god. not there like Sega 16 looking fucking snake. <laughs> a Sega CD, you mean? Oh, was yeah. it, no, I was, what's the, the, what was that little red console? Like really early Sega. Oh, just regular Sega. Was it just Sega? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lord. Okay. It's, it's like that bad. What if someone comes to you and says, deep in the jungle, <laughs> there is an animal that looks like it's out of a video game. <laughs> looks like it's from Sega. Uh huh. Yeah. You'd be, you'd want to go find it. Sure. That's why you'd want to find it, right? <laughs> Just because it, like, it it's, like, maybe the Santa Conda is special because of that. Oh, that could be. It looks like a shitty video. I know uh, an anaconda out there that has such low rent graphics. You <laughs> barely believe it's alive, mon frere. You got to really stare at that thing before you realize, oh, mon ami, it is indeed an anaconda. <laughs> You're right? like, oh, is that, a, is that a mudslide? No. Unless he's a puppet and then it kind of looks adorable. It That anaconda is just like... it fucking blast its head through a door and it's like well hey everybody how's it going what's everybody doing in this movie i'm the anaconda i'm the titular anaconda i'm annie the anaconda hi (laughs) and then meanwhile like ice cube's accident and he's like hey take it easy (laughs) annie anaconda didn't want to bring this on himself Did somebody have trouble spelling something? Oh, no. I'm getting shot in the face by Jennifer Lopez. 
<laughs> It'd be a better movie. It just talked for some reason. That, yeah. Like, you're you know? definitely going down river to find a fucking talking snake. A talking snake that looks like a video game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back, back to Doritos, man. Um, so <laughs> at this point, like, uh, so Eric Stoltz goes down. They're like, oh, what are we going to do? And uh, John Boyd's like, I have a shortcut you can take. It goes through Anaconda Country, though. And you're like, yeah, I know what you're doing. There's like a totem you're pole. pink-shirted fuck. <laughs> there's a totem pole with snakes on it and yeah. shit. And there's like this obviously clearly man-made and it took a while wall like built up yes. to not go down this river. Yes. It's like, well, we just need to blow it up and we get him to the hospital. It's like, oh, so much quicker than the other oh, you, way. You'll be eating pancakes in no time. <laughs> And it's like with the promise of pancakes, they go to. I don't think pancakes are mentioned, but I just imagine. No, but it's just that idea of the, like, we'll be back to civilization. Yeah. My, my favorite part is that they go to this wall and they're like, oh, how are we going to. Oh, great. Great job, John Void. How are we going to get past this wall? And then, like, he's like, I have an idea. And he pulls out dynamite. And Owen Wilson has my favorite, <laughs> dumbest line in the movie. Yes. Is that real dynamite? It's like, <laughs> that's as dumb Don't as, hey, the... is that thing loaded? Yeah. You know? yeah. It's like, is that real dynamite? Don't hey. let the Acme brand fool you, my friend. <laughs> I bought it from a coyote. <laughs> I get a roadrunner. I get an anaconda. I get a promiscuous bunny rabbit. <laughs> I took a rapey skunk. <laughs> <laughs> he kept telling me that this dog I saw would tell me it's not duck season. <laughs> It was duck season. Oh, no. I ran past a, a wet white fence and a white streak on my back. And this squirrel tra- this, this skunk tried to rape me for an episode. <laughs> but then I was the water boy for the monsters. <laughs> they were playing the basketball. I was back in the forest and I accidentally shot a mildly retarded <laughs> hunter in the face. <laughs> Oh man, this is the guy that brought down Elmer Fudd. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah, took him right the fuck down. He wow. stuffed him too. I have to go hide in the jungle. Both they were ways. Hunt, hunting me for for the murder of I'm, one Elmer Fudd. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use this ridiculous accent so no one can ever find out my real identity because <laughs> it don't make no sense. <laughs> am, am I from Paraguay? <laughs> am I from France? <laughs> We will never know. No Nobody from know. Where, wherever the fuck Jean Voigt's from. <laughs> hey, isn't it weird that Angelina Jolie is so good looking and I'm so ugly? <laughs> isn't that a strange thing? <laughs> is this John Voigt's stand-up? <laughs> <laughs> I could go for that. What's the deal with that time I was in Tomb Raider with her? It was like we were repairing our relationship, but now she still don't want to see me no more. <laughs> Isn't it weird? I kind of look like Mickey Rooney in that Twilight Zone episode where he becomes real big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he kind of does. <laughs> oh, yeah. This guy's a nightmare. So, so uh, he blows, blows up. This thing. Now, here, here's a question I have. Again, just like the laziness of making this movie. And forgive me, I have almost no knowledge Outside of Looney Tunes, uh, uh, we've about, noticed <laughs> about, about dynamite. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Owen Wilson decides he's going to help John Voight. John Voight like sells him on this whole thing. He's like, "Hey, man, millions of dollars if you help me get this snake on film." Because, like, yeah, as this is going along, like Owen Wilson is just like, "I guess I'll be in this movie." You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he's like, "Well, I'm either the guy that gets killed because I'm not in on it, or I'm the guy that gets killed because I'm in on it. I'd rather be in on it." Yeah, it's more fun for me to take a villainous turn in this movie. Sure. So he's helping him out, but I'm noticing, like, they're in the water and they're walking up to this wall and whatnot to blow it. Owen Wilson totally submerges the dynamite and dunks water. it pretty good. Yeah, and I, I was know. like. Well, is that going to work now? Like, can you get mm. dynamite wet? But I, I, I feel like there's probably some dynamite you can get wet, and John Voight, being a river rat, probably has the wet Oh, dynamite. you can get it wet, more than me. <laughs> I call a boober, they sell me <laughs> wet dynamite. <laughs> That's not all that got wet. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, uh, boober <laughs> is the dumbest joke we've ever made. Just want to be really it clear is, about it. It is yep. not. Yep. Uh, no, no, I don't know. A lot of jokes over the years. Yeah. And so far, I'll tell you, this is the dumbest joke of season seven. <laughs> <laughs> Second episode in. Great track record. Um, so, <laughs> like, basically, yeah, I mean, John Voight is starting a mutiny. Like, So, um, he gets, actually, he gets Owen Wilson's um, uh, uh, favor because he saves his life. Him and Carrie were... Oh, right! They, they like, they're stopped for a minute. They're trying to refuel or something. He's like, hey, you know what would be awesome? You know what would be awesome? Let's have sex in this really gross jungle where there's fucking parasites and leeches all over the place. 
the only thing you're doing in the jungle at best is dry humping. I'm wearing all of the clothes. Dude, listen, in the jungle, the mosquitoes should be the only one doing the sucking. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Oh, boy. It's disgusting. Why on earth would you engage in sexual intercourse in the jungle like this? You have no idea where you are. It's the middle of the night. You leave Eric a- Stoltz is dying 20 minutes away. What if one of those hornets came out and got your dick? Yeah. Or like <sighs> beat you on the ass? Well, or they something? even tell, John Boy tells the story. Like, oh, there's a, a thousand ways you could die in the jungle. It's also in the name of a book I'm publishing later. <laughs> but like Eric still says his cab and he's just sleeping in. Just, you know, he's like passed out, just fucking there. Yes. Fuck get, next to him. Exactly get the mosquito right. tent out and let's get down to business. That's the, the old, only way I'm doing the it. The old first mm-hmm. year in college uh, rude roommate situation. <laughs> hey, Dave, you asleep? Dave, 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 Dave. It's good. Let's go. Or, you know, you're in the jungle, full body condoms, like in that naked gun sequence. <laughs> Just com- head to toe in rubber. The, the audience can't tell, but I'm nodding my head furiously right now because yes. that sounds about right to me. Yep. yep. So, like, it's amazing because he's like, Oh, yeah, this fucking's going pretty well. I'm going to get laid soon. Hey, what's that noise? Oh, no, a huge pig. <laughs> There's, like, this massive warthog that's, like, running at them. And John Voight jumps in and murders this He fucking thing. kills Pumbaa right there, man. <laughs> oh, man, Hakuna Madeta. <laughs> oh, 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 you wow. did it. You you beat Boomer with Hakuna Madeta. <laughs> oh, wow, John Voight. You took out that you took out that boar from the movie, sort of like they took out my scenes in Rushmore. <laughs> They had all sorts of plans for that, that boar. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> and I, took- wrote, I wrote the Dern movie. <laughs> Fucking excised from his own movie, man. Um, you think Wes Anderson's ever seen this movie? Anaconda? Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Big time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He saw Anaconda. <laughs> he thinks it's great, too. Yeah. It was okay. It's a little brown for my taste. <laughs> there is a gross filter on this movie. Yeah, it's man. it's very brown. Uh, so <laughs> he saves his life. He he blows he blows his warthog, warthog's brains out. And at this point, like Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube keep doing the same thing when they keep giving each other looks. Like, oh man, this guy sucks. What are what, what my idiot boyfriend picked this guy up? This is embarrassing. So they blow the thing. They go past it. They're on the river. At this point, um, my. So Carrie Wurr is uh, Owen Wilson's girlfriend. Owen Wilson has already pledged allegiance to jo- to the dark hand of John Voight. <laughs> and um, everyone's like, oh, that's kind of, you know, there's like this weird split faction. And John Voight's like, we're going to go th- we're on the way to save your boyfriend. We're going to get a snake. We're going to be millionaires. And it's like, okay. <laughs> and like, he's like, he shoots a monkey in the head. <laughs> And, and, and like Carrie Wurr is like ew and I'm like no 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 no. if you see a, a monkey get shot in the head you're like what the fuck is wrong with you what is I'm trying to remember I just watched this last night but what is the circumstance in which he's murdering this monkey <laughs> well for bait you need bait oh, for an anaconda oh, right what the fuck with that boar you just shot what's yes. going on with that I think maybe they're eating that oh yeah. that, that's good eats right mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess so, but that means they're like pulling over again to make like a fire. Do you got to, <laughs> yes. to cook it. And then sure. meanwhile, like Eric Stoltz like, I don't want to be a nag here, but I'm dead. <laughs> that, I'm in this lazily written coma. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't mean to be a dick, but maybe we could move along a little bit. So oh, he kills yeah. his monkey, and then at this point it, it becomes very clear that John Void is evil. And that Owen Wilson has aligned himself. He even pulls out a gun. Owen Wilson pulls a gun on on the rest of the crew. He's like, sorry, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of it. It's well. It's, He's also wearing a Good Day Mate t-shirt this entire movie, which really sucks. Well, he it gets totally in the sucks. idea. I guess the, one of the reasons he, quote unquote, turns to the dark side is like... <laughs> He he he's like, well, the documentary's over. We might as well make another movie of, uh, you know, just film this guy taking out that snake. <laughs> it's a different kind of movie. Yes, yeah. can sell it to to YouTube, I guess. <laughs> well, it's like uh, that. It's totally unfounded, like snake plus footage e fortune. Yeah, <laughs> the money. Sure. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a. It's like a. It's speaking of fucking Skull Island. It's like yeah. a shittier plan, King Kong. <laughs> Or this giant fucking snakes here. Let's bring it back to... It's either going to go on a road show or or scientists are going to study it and kill it. Like, one or the other. Yeah, and and you know who's going to be able to do it is this guy that's like Jake the Snake when he had all the drugs. (laughs) 
<laughs> before he started doing yoga and got clean, that Jake the Snake is going to catch this thing. And doing stand-up comedy, by the is way. Is Jake the Snake doing stand-up comedy? He's doing stand-up. Oh, I, don't, really? I don't even know who Jake the Snake is. Jake the, the Snake Roberts, the wrestler, dude. He came out with a big old snake on his arm, had a horrible drug problem that crippled most of his life. <laughs> it he sounds did, great. He did that documentary. It was Behind the Mat or Under... What's it? Was he on, was he on Beyond the Mat? Beyond the Mat, yeah, because that's the one where it's famously they're doing an interview and they like they cut to black and they're like during this time Jake the Snake is doing crack cocaine. Oh right, and, they keep, and they, it keeps that. It's like, it's like him just talking like about wrestling and it's like cut to black. He did more cocaine. Cut to black. He's doing more cocaine. There's another doc though about him getting his life on track, oh, like wow. through yoga and whatever. But oh no, the only reason is we were again. And by the way. Patreon.com slash we hate movies. We were getting a call from this dude on Twitter who was saying that we'd love you to come to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's a great city. Here's some clubs you can go to. And he sent this thing. He or she, I don't remember, sent this thing that was like, by the way, if he can play here, you guys got to come to Pittsburgh. And it's fucking Jake the Snake playing a comedy club. Oh, wow. Yeah. I gotta What's get, the we, deal with leg drops anymore? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get on that bill with Jake the Snake. We oh, got to go on tour with him. Oh, yeah, it'd be great. Well, our fat ass is doing yoga with him now, though. He tur- <laughs> See, the problem is yeah. he turned his life around already. We're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how this Patreon shakes out. <laughs> you guys are a bad influence on me. <laughs> You guys, you guys got Jake the Snake off the wagon. <laughs> oh, that would be a bad rep for us. That'd totally. be a bad luck for We Hate Movies. <laughs> so, uh, basically, what's going on? We're going down the river now. Everybody knows that he's right, the, evil. The, yeah, they blew the they blew the the snake barge, and snakes rained upon us. Oh, that's oh my! Oh, right. which oh, leads the, to my favorite John Voight line of all time. Which oh, is, is that right? Where all these snakes around, like. They're babies. They're just babies. Come on, babies. Go back to your mother. And there's like these <laughs> enormous snakes. He's just like shooing them what away. What is this dude's fa- what, no, like in, He says, go on, babies, back to your mother at least two times. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> what is his deal with snakes? Like, what is this guy? I don't know. He's just like, do you I think just it's like a, snakes. Do you think it's like a Troy McClure thing, but with snakes? Oh, yeah. that could yeah. be. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I bet he probably yeah. puts like a little helmet on them and shoves them up somewhere. <laughs> So that's, that's oh, me. now you cannot bite me, Snake. <laughs> that's, the dude. more you struggle, the more I have pleasure. <laughs> oh, God almighty. <laughs> you know it's happened. I do know it's happened. <laughs> Let's start that rumor for John Boyd. If, we could, if, people could, if that, if that uh, 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 Richard Gere rumor can persist. That, the, yeah, the hamster. The, well, let's start John Boyd with snakes. So <laughs> they come across Danny Trejo's haunted boat, right? Oh, oh right. <laughs> this is where Mateo gets it. <laughs> His ghosts hanging out. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a ghost pirate now. Hi, everybody. It's oh, me. you're just a baby ghost. Go get back to your god. <laughs> come Shoot, on, baby. Get out of here, baby ghost. Get out. <laughs> We're forgetting, though, in this hilarious thing about all the babies on the boat. <laughs> all of my babies. <laughs> Dad from Jumanji is like, what's going on out here? And like this little baby snake gets on his fucking finger. Oh yeah. Oh, she's so small, but so deadly. And like, like John Voight is looking at this thing with like fuck eyes, <laughs> and this dude is like, get this monster off my finger. And he's like, oh, look at it. Yeah, it's just a little baby. Oh, it packs a big bite. <laughs> and he, like, peels this little snake puppet off this actor's <laughs> it's finger. It's adorable, I'll be honest with it you. It looks pretty cute. It's like those tiny dinosaurs at the beginning of The Lost World. Yes, exactly. You just want to take one of them little cuddly little things home? Mm. Oh, sure. So Danny Trejo's uh, a haunted boat where he committed suicide. <laughs> now he's like a ring ghost on the boat. Which is that's Danny, a better movie, dude? dude that if Danny Trejo it. crawled out of the boat's radio and started chasing them. It sounds accurate, right? As far as you know, what you could come out of a boat to if you were a ring ghost, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. you know, they could maybe communicate with the other side to get like the forces of the of the dead to battle snakes for them. Yeah, dude, a little white noise situation. Yeah. See what's going on there. Ghosts v anaconda. I feel like ghosts have the edge. I would love to see ghosts take out big snakes. Jesus Christ! How the fuck do we not have a full time job at the Sci Fi Channel? That's it's, it. Right? Just wrote, we just wrote a whole movie. <laughs> ghosts <laughs> versus snakes. Everyone. Watch, you would not like 
if you saw that, like, let's say you, you walked by a poster of a, like a ghost wrestling slash riding as giant <laughs> snake. You're watching that movie. Dude, there are so many ironic college freshmen out there that would watch yeah. that movie. Are you yeah. kidding me? And then you get the guy who played Scott from 90210 because Steve's already busy. I think Brian Austin Green's done one, too. I think I think it's like uh, yeah, we're Luke trying per- to have them all in there. Luke Perry has too much dignity, so <laughs> he won't do that. <laughs> Which is weird to say, but it's true. Um, <laughs> Never thought I'd say that about Luke Perry. No, he's great. He's great. Um, so they uh, on this boat. The only thing like um, uh, John, John Voight Boyd- hides a newspaper clipping. Oh, it's it's Remember a that? News- It was like it was the t- it was back in the better days. Like Danny Trey was so proud of it. It's kind of cute. It's really sweet. It's like him, Mateo, <laughs> Danny Trejo, like on in better days. It's like a it's like a like the Amazon River community newsletter. <laughs> like these three guys caught the biggest snake out in the jungle this week, and they're like, "Look how big!" And everyone's <laughs> smiling for the picture. Oh, that, you know that was gonna go like Danny Trejo. He's gonna get one more snake. He's gonna open a bar that was gonna go right above the bar, like Sam Malone's old like yes. uh, 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 um, uh, Red Sox material. Oh, all the all, all his old baseballs, pitching paraphernalia. It's called Slithers. Danny Trejo's bar Ooh, called Slithers. Oh, I like yeah. it. Welcome to Slithers. The bathroom is not clean. <laughs> well, I mean, also, I guess you can't really have a bar that is not a place of prostitution <laughs> if you're calling it Slithers. But I think you're okay. No, you can you get sh- away with sl- Listen, you, you got to be really clear about it. You can't name a wholesome bar the Titty Twister without <laughs> prostitution happening. Yeah, yes, mm-hmm. no, absolutely not. If we want to talk about, you know, bars Danny that Danny bar. Trejo can haunt. <laughs> But Slithers, by the way, you get Venom shots. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a oh, place sure. you could make. Dude, you could even, for fans of Parks and Rec, you could make the, the snake juice. You could, the nice <laughs> reference there. There's an alternate name. I don't know if it would work. To scale. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like that. It, yeah, it's uh, more conceptual. <laughs> That's if Danny Trejo opened like a three Michelin star restaurant. Basically. Yes, <laughs> yes, with like beautiful snake dishes. Oh, exactly, that's... dude. Total all sorts of weird experimental right. snake dishes. It's sort of like uh, the uh, Indiana Jones Temple of Doom menu. Oh yeah, you're getting some snake brains, dude. Yeah, yeah. monkey yeah. brains. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just bait for our snake dishes. <laughs> We use monkey brains to lure snakes. Yeah, you know, you're eating our bait, actually. <laughs> Man, that monkey gets fucking assassinated in all, this movie. All snakes are uh, responsibly sourced by mon- using monkeys as bait in the Amazon jungle. <laughs> That's, the, that's on the menu. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, man. Yeah, I can see it now to scale. You bet he killed himself like a coward. <laughs> <laughs> you could have, real... have two successful businesses. Yeah, a nice bar. You could take a boober from <laughs> Slithers to, to scale because they'd both be on the river for sure. Oh, they oh, have yep. to be on the water without question. Uh, These are waterfront establishments. Oh, dude, to scale, you could pick your snake. Uh-oh. It's in it's it's an aquarium. <laughs> Before you get seated at Fresh. the table. Yeah. They just pulled it. it out of the water this morning. <laughs> oh, man. All awesome. Mm-hmm. Except then there's really nothing that is discovered on this boat. Except he, he what grab- is the he, crate? The crate has a bunch of snake traps in it, I believe. And like snake, snake hunting gear that he gets. Oh, right. Why and is it, everybody, is, knows, Voight, everybody knows that the Void's mission yes. is to hunt the snake. But he's being... Like coy. he's being coy about what's in this thing. Like just be like, "Hey, it's a bunch of gear to hunt a snake." Yeah, I don't know. It, it, so him, Mateo, and Danny and, and Ice Cube go, and Ice Cube helps him with this crate for no. Ice Cube's not helping anybody with anything. Yeah, Unless no, it he's benefits he's in it for directly. Ice Cube. Ice Cube, exactly right. Um, Ice Cube's character is great in this movie. Could have been flushed out a little more. Yeah, I, I want like ninety-eight percent of the rest of the stuff in this movie. <laughs> so he moves. Uh, they, 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 on their way back, Mateo gets killed by the anaconda. Oh, I think this is the should. first time, the it's first, the first like, human death. kill. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, of course it's Mateo, by the way. Uh, it's sna- snake, a computer snake. Ra- the way you get killed by an anaconda is a computer snake wraps around you, then a puppet <laughs> snake's on you, yes. and then you'll see a puppet snake's face go, <laughs> and then like it kind of computer eats you for a while. Now, I don't know if this is true, but on the Tribune, they're reporting mm. uh, that the CGI in this movie for the snake cost $100,000 per second of screen time. What? Man, those nerds really just took everyone to the cleaners. Yeah. 
Like that's that, insane. It's it's all it's all it's, it's all computer magic to everyone else. So they're just like, man, but millions of dollars, please. Yeah, like don't tell me that this was the best you could do. No, it's don't, definitely don't not do the that. best you could do. Live entertainment. Don't tell me that live entertainment. This is like we got a oh shit, that movie's coming out. We got a weekend to do it. <laughs> we got a weekend for all the effects. Okay. Oh fuck, we forgot about that snake movie. Yeah, it's that a, we charged them a hundred thousand yeah, 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 yeah. dollars a second. Yeah, for. we've been working on it for a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundreds of thousands of dollars. That sounds right. It just looks like shit, man. So and now, Mateo's and, done, but and like Jennifer Lopez again, like it doesn't make sense. She, she's like, oh, um, we need to find Mateo. What's gonna happen with Mateo? We have to stay here overnight. I think Mateo is gonna come back, and I'm like, what the fuck are we talking about? She rapidly loses her mind in this movie. She, yeah, I, I don't get her character. This is like John Voight. This is where he actually this is where he gives the big monologue about like we're going to be rich. And this is where Owen Wilson yeah. turns. OK, and right, makes right, the whole right. Thing. Everybody knows that now there's a coup on the boat. There's a coup on the boat and this giant anaconda is after them. Yes. And there is a hilarious cut to like the aftermath of the argument that everybody's had. And everybody's kind of just like hanging out on the boat. Carrie Wurr is like made it clear she's very upset with Owen Wilson. Mm -hmm. And there's just like Owen Wilson, there's a shot of him like walking, holding a rifle, like <laughs> playing security, like playing yes. boat security. <laughs> it's just like someone should have just taken him out immediately. I mean, Ice Cube versus Owen Wilson with a gun, Ice Cube wins. Every time. Only one of those people could play Triple X, and Ice Cube <laughs> happened to be that guy. Oh, wow. Triple X, man. Those movies are terrible. Dude, they're making a new I one. I saw the trailer. Dude, Vin is back, disturbing. man. Vin, Vin is back, baby. Dude, Vin Diesel riding a motorcycle <laughs> underwater. I think it's like a Triple X team is going on now. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the way these things work. When we're out of ideas for like the one <laughs> character to do something, Yeah, we're going to have a big stupid team. And also you out. can only afford the one guy for like a day and a half. The return of Xander Cage and three other people you haven't met yet. <laughs> Three people from sci-fi movies you probably haven't watched. <laughs> Man, I, I got zero interest in that. Huh? No, absolutely not. No. Those might be episodes, though. Oh, the, one of the, one of the, at I least saw one the, of the first. I saw the first one. I didn't see Ice Cube's one. Uh, Triple I'm X sure Two State all of the Union. Trash. Come on. I want to know what happened to Ice Cube's character, though. They killing him off? Now maybe he's coming back. Maybe he's like the guy behind the desk. Maybe he's riding the desk. Oh, in Man, after X State of the Union, he's riding the desk for some reason. That's unfortunate. Maybe he's one of the guys that brought you the 40 year old virgin. <laughs> <laughs> That's who he plays. So we're having this big discussion about like what we're going to do. We can't believe this is happening. It's ridiculous. And then there's like another snake attack. Oh, right. Who gets it here? Well, I don't know that anybody gets it here, but this is hilariously where the snake comes up and he's like, hey, everybody, I'm a snake. <laughs> and he spits the monkey corpse at the English guy? Well, yeah, because they're like, oh, this, yeah. this enormous snake is going to want a small dead monkey. And he's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> I mean, like, people. This is, I just Mateo. Now we're under full snake threat. And like <laughs> the yeah. snake busts through like the window of the boat to, to like get at J-Lo, but doesn't, but like stops. This, this snake is... belongs in the Rainforest Cafe. He like comes out and like, rah, rah, rah. I'm going to take you to your table. Here's a bread basket <laughs> while you wait. Would you like to hear about our specials? <laughs> Isn't it gross how this restaurant is misty for some reason? Yeah, you know what I want to eat dinner in? A fucking cloud of fake bog, okay? <laughs> Yikes. So, oh, Rainforest Cafe, what a bad idea. So, um, at this point, like, the weird thing about this is... so. Shouldn't that snake be digesting Mateo for like four days? Yes. You know what I mean? Like the snake would no. not keep following and killing them. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, oh, all right. Here's shit. the thing. What? Dudes, why do you think I was pushing that scroll so hard? The last part of that mm -hmm. scroll tells oh, no. us oh, no. that anacondas are not like other snakes where they just like eat and it's like cool, let it like sit in me for a little bit. These motherfuckers eat something. <gasps> And then they regurgitate it only to go on to continue eating things. Oh, like a wealthy Roman citizen. <laughs> yeah. 
exactly right. Using the vomitorium. Exactly right. So, like, Mateo, dude, he's fucking just puked somewhere in this, oh, in this that's river. that's unfortunate for Mateo. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, like, dude. He's now, but now, Mateo is fish food for th- other little creatures in the river. And the circle of life continues. Yeah, exactly. Just, kinda, this, that's what Elton that's, John was singing about. And that is the on, that we, we, we commit to the honor of that here at To Scale. <laughs> You you get in that room and you throw up at to scale. I mean, the thing is though, like you keep thinking about what could have been for those three guys and where it all goes wrong. That's like that true. one shining moment when they had that snake. These are happy all fr- days are yours and mine. <laughs> they're days going back. They're having some cervezas. You know what I mean? Like yes, dude. everyone's getting yes. laid that night. I would oh, love absolutely. that 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 mini movie first, <laughs> dude. An anaconda prequel, the oh, golden yeah. days of the snake boys. <laughs> yes, yes. The, snake the, boys. The, the golden days of the snake boys. Just call it that it starts when it starts when they're all 14 years old yeah they have an adventure on train tracks i'm having my sexual awakening (laughs) by fucking the snake oh mateo i think i got that girl pregnant (laughs) is that you oh no it's a snake (laughs) so like i don't know man like well, uh, so here's another great moment in the movie. The death of Owen Wilson. Oh, yeah, he gets it. This snake bites him in the face. Because the snake is attacking the whole barge at this point. In this, like, right. re- Disney ride mm-hmm. attack. <laughs> yeah, it is. It breaks his nose back into place. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, totally. Oh, wow, you fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't eat me. <laughs> but it's, like, biting the face, like, gets him, wraps him around and whatever. Like... Face snake, he's eaten, and yeah. this is like, this is like my favorite moment of the movie. The oh, yeah? snake's like, all right, everybody, gotta go take a shit. I'll harass you later. <laughs> and you see the underwater shot of this fucking computer swimming away, and this cartoon character, its belly has the face of Owen Wilson stuck in the side of it. Yeah, hey Yikes. guys, this is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get me out of here, Wes Anderson. <laughs> Save me from Anaconda. I'm in a tight spot. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Zissou, where are you? Uh, R.I.P. that character. Oh, oh yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so we get to like a real all is lost, like desperate moment. Because right Carrie War is like inconsolable because her boyfriend who happened to be evil and a dick anyway was killed by a snake which is well you know steve you love yeah um, the thing about love steve is that it um it forgives so much yeah <laughs> especially when love has been eaten by a snake <laughs> and and now like yeah. they're like full panic mode against john void at this point right uh, like, like, how are we gonna do that and it's like you know what the power of a sexy lady might uh-huh. help out. Mm-hmm. So we cut to the scene where John Voight's like, I, mean, I don't know, doing something in the in the cabin alone. He's like touching the picture of the all. Oh, he's the... remembering the good days with the, the golden days of the Snake Boys. Oh, I'll, I'll open to scale and slithers for you, Danny Trejo. Oh, Danny Trejo, I will not change the name of Slithers, even though I know. I was against it, but Slithers was your idea, my friend. I to honor you, I'm going to put it on the sign. Welcome to Slithers. (laughs) (laughs) Every time the front door opens, it just goes. (laughs) (laughs) But so then, like, in saunters J-Lo. And you're like, yeah. You're like, oh, this is weird. She's like clearly coming on to him. And then I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna get to see J Lo and J Vo. <laughs> get it on. I would still be throwing. Up yeah, I'd be vomiting. Is what I'd be doing <laughs> if that happened, <laughs> like an anaconda. <laughs> and so she's like, she's like, you know, the the love of a good woman. <laughs> I mean, like, this, that, the other thing. How could John Voight entertain this for even one second? <laughs> the the thing, second if, you, listen, anytime a sexy lady comes up to you and mentions the love of a good woman, someone's about to hit you in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agreed. A woman that you've previously kidnapped. Yeah, exactly right. Like in other circumstances, no, maybe in, it's no, 50, no. In 50, every, every circumstance, every, okay, fair enough. If, if a woman tells you you need the love of a good woman, yeah. uh, you know, a sack of quarters is about to hit your head. <laughs> Best case scenario, really. 
or Ice Cube is going to sneak up behind you with a wrench and fucking try to hit you in the back of the skull. And like, exactly. and uh, John Voight realizes, like, do you think I was stupid? And he pulls a gun on Ice Cube and then kisses J Lo. Like, oh, I might as well get something for well, this fucking coup. Take it where you can get it. <laughs> thinks John Voight's this character. This is for Slithers. <laughs> he slithers his tongue out. Oh yeah. So it turns out the slippy, the slipperiest snake of all, <laughs> is J Lo. <laughs> By the way, you just gave me a great thought. Imagine if the twist ending of this movie was it turned out John Voight was part snake the whole time. Oh, that'd be great. I would love it. Yeah, like dude. you escape from the lab. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole other snake sci-fi lab. movie. No, oh, oh my god, even better. Lab. At the end of the movie, they're about to kill him, and then he opens up his shirt, and it's like Nightmare on Elm Street, and all the snakes that he's killed, yeah. in his all life the are- souls of the snakes <laughs> he's murdered through. <laughs> <laughs> and a little guy like uh, Cohagen or whatever, <laughs> yeah. Quaid. Wait, wh- who had it in the? Who had the guy in his belly? Guy in, in, his to- belly. Total in Total Recall, recall. was uh, it Cohagen? No, it's not Cohagen. It was some other dude. Oh wait, Quato. Quato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Quato. yeah, that could be there. Maybe Danny Trejo's face pops out. Yeah, too. and he's like, "Oh, kill me." <laughs> <laughs> Forget slithers, kill me. I got all these snakes in my belly. So uh the British guy knocks him over the head with a, a golf club and they tie him. Of up. course he does. And like Ice Cube is like, hey, let's kill this guy. Yeah, that's and Jennifer, uh, Ice Cube uh, is correct. And Jennifer yes. Lopez is like, No, we're gonna turn him over to the what would what would Cal want? Or whatever or referring to Eric Stoltz's um, bullshit character who got us all killed in the first fucking place. How yeah. about who gives a shit? Yeah, like let's guy. think about what he would do and then do the Exact <laughs> yes. polar opposite. This I'm going to slit this guy's throat. Turn him into chum. Uh-huh. <laughs> turn him into chum instantly. Yes. Just there's, yep. You know what? Clearly, I mean, there's no authorities out here. No. This guy has no attachments. This the guy, snake boys no are ID, done. by the way. Clearly. His name, which is like Paul Serrano or some horse shit. That's fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, if you want to do it, you you don't want to you know you want you want to be nice. You don't want to kill someone yourself. Tie <laughs> tie him up mm-hmm. completely, and I'm talking even around the neck because this guy's a wily bastard. Sure. And then dump his body in that bog <laughs> and yes. be done with it. Let no. the anaconda take care exactly. of it, or tie him to a tree and leave yeah. it. That's the move. That's terrifying. That's, that's the old like I'm too much of a chicken shit to do this, so I'm just gonna let mm-hmm. nature take its course. Exactly, and that's it. Whatever. Or tie him to a tree and then cut. His, his bowels out. Oh, right. That's what, you, what I would do. What you don't do is tie him to the mast of your fucking boat and be like, we're going to turn you into the rainforest police or whatever horse shit we're talking about. Exactly. Exactly. What is the end game yeah. for not killing him? Right? Like, yeah. where are you taking him? Oh, dude. Uh, do you seriously want to deal with a trial about this whole <laughs> snake misadventure? I want to get the fuck out of the Amazon the second I get not, to dry land. Not exactly. to spoil the movie, but they we do encounter a native tribe. Maybe they want to tribe law to come into effect oh i like right? that idea that yeah, like, yeah make some know. fucking furniture out of this guy <laughs> yeah or like <laughs> shoot him with arrows or bash his skull in. oh totally all any, that sounds great any of that shit like you tell the awesome. wa- yeah you tell the the the, the, the tribunal there and uh, but you know what if that's the case though that's how the movie needs to end that would be wouldn't it be like a haunting ending if it's just like he gets he gets brought up like in, in, to this to this trial in this ancient civilization and they just beat him to death oh. and it's just like this one <laughs> shot <laughs> of like behind John Voight's head and like they just start beating him and it just it pans back slowly <laughs> and it like slowly leaves the hut and fuck goes I'd back love the, that and he's, you, you just see the like 10 minutes and then and beaten yes. to death and then a post a post credit sequence yeah. is John Voight the ghost of John Voight's character walks <laughs> into Slithers Danny Trejo's tending bar and he's like what can I get you End credit. Oh, th- shit. Think about that. Now, Chilling it's ending. an art movie. Now. <laughs> it's a, Anaconda needed to be an art movie. Also, it's all in black and white. <laughs> You're setting up the sequel, Anaconda 2 Snake Bar. <laughs> which, would be awesome. which actually is better than Anaconda 2. Uh, Hunt for the Blood Orchid. Which I've seen the same scene in two different hotel rooms. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the weird <laughs> kawinky dink that I haven't seen there. a second of that movie. Um, Maybe neither. But whatever. Uh, so... We run to more uh, vague boat trouble because that's what this movie's about. Like, oh no, the boat's caught on something else. Yes. And like, uh, basically, uh, it's hilarious because like Ice Cube and Jennifer Lopez is like, all right, our plan will be 
B Ice Cube and you, Jennifer Lopez, will go and tie one rope to this thing. And hey, British guy, that's super expendable. You go over there and do yep. that yourself. Exactly right. And it, Carrie Wurr is going to guard the prisoner, which. Yeah. Also, yeah. it is revealed, like right before this whole thing, that John Voight is, in fact, the guy who put the wasp yes. in Eric Stoltz's oh, mask. Oh, the poisonous wasp. <laughs> oh, oh I'm going to get right in this swimmer's mask, eh? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll nestle right in there. I'll just shrink, shrink down with this device I stole from Aunt. Man, <laughs> mm, the swimmer reminds me of my favorite short story by John Updike. <laughs> yes, Muffy and I have considered seven nights just jumping fences and hopping in pools that aren't ours. <laughs> oh, poisonous wasp, you are the best. <laughs> so whatever, uh, they do this stupid plan, and the British guy's like, "Really? Yeah, sure, great, great plan for you guys." The British guy has. Mwah. My favorite line oh, in the movie. Oh, it's good. Because it's like he's he's given up on fucking everything. And they're like, all right, you go over there by yourself. <laughs> swim 50 yards away and tie this rope there. And he's like, all right, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck it. Like, what does it even matter? He goes, I was up all night picking leeches off my scrotum, this guy says. Yeah. 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 Well, let, 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 you know what, Snake? You can't get here fast enough, dude. <laughs> yep. Hey, boys, get on that British man's scrotum. <laughs> Yikes. So, My um, boys and I met a British man <laughs> on a cruise ship. <laughs> Got to write about it in my diary. <laughs> All the erections I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Will the phone speed to cruise control? Um, <laughs> gee, you might, there might be new listeners. Um, That's true. The, uh, so Carrie Werher takes this uh, opportunity because he killed Owen Wilson to kill John Voight. And you know how you do that? Quickly and viciously. Absolutely. You got a, you got a steak knife? It's going right in his heart 14 times before he can open his fake accented mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead, yeah. what happens is John Voight uh, eats a magic Mario mushroom <laughs> and super jumps up like a fucking hardy boy. Well, he, he gets her. He's like, oh, she's like, I'm going to kill you, you son of a bitch. And he's like. Oh, you should never look in the eyes of those you kill. Oh, right. It'll haunt you forever or something. Just ask me. You know, back in the day, the golden days of the snake boys. Oh, there, God, just kill me already. <laughs> there was actually four snake boys. One of them, I looked right in the eye before I murdered. He never, <laughs> he never made it to snake man. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. His name was Albert, and I cut his fucking throat. <laughs> but you're right. He does do this amazing scissor kick that John Voight never could do. He so jumps up your old ponytail, John Voight. He wraps his legs around this woman's neck and does the fucking tornado, whatever the wrestling move is, yes. and pulls her to the end. You're just like, what the fuck? And then he wraps his legs around her, much like an anaconda. Oh. and Or like Zen. On a top in <laughs> yeah. Goldeneye and fucking strangles her I'm with the his kneecaps. Bong girl, you ever saw Mona Me? <laughs> Look at my magic thighs. Squeezy, squeezy. <laughs> Sorry, that was, a, that was a legitimate reaction to squeezy, I just, squeezy. My, my mission is to sleep with James Bond and then plant the venom. <laughs> um, so she's dead. So she's totally dead. Uh, then um, the British, the Anaconda shows up, obviously, yes. at this point. Chases the British guy up a waterfall. Oh, we sure does. And the British guy tries to jump for it. The anaconda catches his cartoon in midair. <laughs> and and two, some of the, two cartoons spiraling through the I air. I know, dude. It is some of the worst CGI in the whole movie. Oh, yeah. it's bad. Oh, oh, it is bad. And the best part is, like, Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube were like, oh, no. no. Wow, we totally didn't see that coming. Oh, yikes. Oh, sorry about that, Dad from Jumanji. <laughs> we really thought you were going to make it. Um, so they get on the <laughs> boat. They they find Carrie Ward dead. They fight John Voight and kick him off the boat. Well, no. So the snake attacks once again, by the way, after sure. eating Chumley there. Yeah. And, um... This is where Jennifer Lopez shoots it like three times in the head. Oh, dude, it's great. I, I, be, hey, guys, what are you doing? Blowing my head away like this. <laughs> Let's count to three. Oh, no, those are bullets. But this <laughs> saves Ice Cube's life. Yes, that's true. Yeah, Ice to... Cube's getting squoze by the snake, as it were. And this is a great see, this thing. The, the, the CGI looks so bad, but the puppet. That thing, it's pretty awesome. And that those yeah. brains go splat. It's totally fine. And honestly, this. 
is where we should end it with the anaconda. But no, <laughs> oh, but there's another anaconda, of course, which is. should have been the sequel title. Another anaconda. <laughs> I know. Isn't this the same snake? No, no, I think no. It's, no it's, I, I, it, its brains pop out of its head. This is another man. one. Did you see it die, dude? It's what is brains this, Jason go- Voorhees snake? <laughs> I don't know. This movie's fucking terrible. <laughs> 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 yes. I don't know why, but my brains came back. <laughs> and now I'm a zombie just like a Jason lives. Wait, so it's two snakes? I'm pretty sure it's yeah, another snake. I believe snake. it's another Oh, anaconda. Lord. Well, so also to answer your question about John Voight, though, it's another like, ha, 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 you may have shot the snake, but you didn't shoot John Voight. And then he's like, Arr! and Eric Stoltz has shot him in the back with a trank gun. And again, Eric Stoltz. Fucking use a dagger and go to town with him <laughs> like until he's dead. This yeah. type of guy, you encounter this type of guy, you got to start stabbing until you see through him. Yeah, <laughs> until he doesn't I mean, look like a person no more. Did we yeah. learn nothing from Carrie Werher's heroic death? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> the woman was in sliders and thinner, and we're like, not even caring about the, this the, woman's death. The body the salt on yeah. sea, by the way. And the body count at this point, what does it matter? Listen, all your friends are dead. Yes. Kill this guy. Yeah, just to be sure that he's dead and then go on your merry way. Like, no one's turning you in. Take yeah. a and life. Even if the you know the rainforest police came in all their boats and whatnot, they took the boober <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and arrest you guys and try to, you have to explain your story. Guess what? You're fine. You can yeah. kill this guy. Yeah, you're totally cool. Yeah. He's been trying to kill you for days He's now. killed two to three of your friends. Yeah, at this point, like, it's fucking, you know, it's defending justifi- uh, justifiable homicide, rather. Mm-hmm. Now, this is, I mentioned, you know, complaining about the CGI earlier in the movie. Before we get to, like, the final ridiculously stupid act of this movie, Ice Cube is backing this boat up. Did you guys notice this? Uh-huh. Like a, like a shitty yeah, talk show. You, you, you ever notice? You guys, you guys, <laughs> you, you, you ever notice? You hear about this? You hear about this? <laughs> you read about this? Hey, do you, do you guys hear about this? <laughs> you hear uh, about this? Ice Cube, Ice Cube is backing this boat up. And they have this shot of the boat backing up. Mm-hmm. And this movie's so fucking cheap and stupid and lazy. It's actually a shot of a boat going forward. You know how I can tell? Because a fucking waterfall is falling up in the what? background. No way. That's amazing. Guaranteed. If you go, it's like an hour and two minutes in this movie or something. The waterfall <laughs> is going up, my brothers. Oh, wow. Maybe, you know, maybe we're they're all... the part of the forest where... Time goes backwards. <laughs> it's not a fucking Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> hey, it would be better. It would be a better movie. Christopher Nolan's Anaconda. Yep, where waterfalls go up, and it turns out it's all a dream. Oh, Slither, you, Slithers, you've always been here. Oh, oh maybe this yeah. is. Uh, it's all in Eric Stoltz's mind. Oh, it's his fever dream while he's yeah. gotten. Yep. I'm ready for the jump. <laughs> hey. Why Why is the waterfalls going backwards? Oh, no, it's a dream. I'm dead. Wait. And, and then he's like, oh, in this dream, I got to be in all the Back to the Future movies, and I was on Spin City. Right. Instead of going to the, the Slivers bar, he, he walks to the set of Back to the Future. By the way, be jealous that you weren't in Back to the Future. Don't be jealous you weren't in Spin City. <laughs> Do you think Christopher Lloyd got him fired, by the way? Bobby! <laughs> it's about Marty! He's terrible! This kid sucks! <laughs> kid sucks a dog's ass! Oh my god. Spill! Imagine, imagine. <laughs> imagine at Christopher Lloyd. Yelling at turned you? Turned out to be a fucking set tyrant. Can you imagine? I could. Oh god, who do you want? Me? Or that fucking redheaded piece of shit? Bob Dale! <laughs> Bob Gale, I'll burn your fucking house down. <laughs> you replace this ginger piece of shit Dude, immediately. I'm just like... You want a small boy? I'll get you a small boy. What about that fucking kid from Family Ties? Hey, Eric, Eric, come here. You'll never work in this town again. <laughs> You're crossed Lloyd. <laughs> you stepped on my fucking lines, kid. <laughs> hey, hey, I did a movie called Camp Nowhere. Guess where you're going to be living? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> You'll be lucky to be wearing a wig in Pulp Fucking Fiction. <laughs> Get you, you black fucking medical book. How about a little black acting book? (laughs) Let you take a class. (laughs) Killing Zoe, you're killing this movie. (laughs) Hello, Michael. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I I can't wait to work on the... uh, (laughs) I'm a very giving actor. I'm such a uh, a quiet, nice, decent man. Such a giving actor. I gave away weeks of my time. Now after me, shoot. Fucking Eric Stoltz. 
man, I'd love it if it. And that was the only time. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All of the Reverend Jim <laughs> episodes, he was a peach to you know work with. To, the to Dream Team, my God, the Dream yeah. Team. The stories about how generous he was on the Dream Team. <laughs> but you ask him about Eric Stoltz, and he oh, flips the fuck out. It sets him off, dude. His fucking top blows when he hears that name. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Try to go to the theater, have a nice night with my family, watch an anaconda. <laughs> Fucking Eric Stoltz turned up. Do you have the audacity? We're leaving! We're leaving! <laughs> like, okay, why did Christopher Lloyd storm out of that press screening? Bend over and I'll show you! <laughs> God, I hope that's not true. <laughs> Oh, probably not. I'm pretty sure it's fake. I think fake. that like Eric Stoltz just mildly underperformed. Like, hey, let's just bring in somebody else. I think the story was uh, Spielberg and Zemeckis were dissatisfied. Yeah, I I'm mean, sure the, Christopher Lloyd the, probably felt terrible about it. That's the cover story. <laughs> the Christopher Lloyd's weird prima donna epic meltdown on set. <laughs> Back to the future. Love it. Actually, it was so crazy. He actually killed the real Eric Stoltz. Oh, God. And Steven Spielberg paid out of pocket to commission an Eric Stoltz android. <laughs> All right. Because then they got it. They got for That actually makes sense because in Back to the Future 2, they got a Crispin Glover android to play George <laughs> McFly. And they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar on that one. Oh, fuck. So they go to this abandoned snake factory. I don't know. <laughs> John Voight- this is where I make my snakes. <laughs> this is the snake lab. John Voight gets the upper hand on both of them because they didn't fucking kill him. And they woke up. They wake up like tied to a pole. They kick him into the water. Okay. Which like that's not enough at this point. Because no. apparently you did murder that snake. Yes. I thought that snake was just stunned, but it turned out it was But like murdered. he gets the upper hand. He ties them. Like they, they get knocked out for some reason. And they... Uh, they wake up and like John Voight goes monkey blood and dumped, douses them with carry blood. Like Good. how many fucking Mon- monkeys are you killing, pal? <laughs> that's what he eats, I think. Steve, you'd be surprised he f- at how much blood a monkey can hold. That's why he never he was never a uh, guest starred on Friends because he's only trying to kill fucking little Marcel. <laughs> I love a gabusha monkey. <laughs> I fuck snakes and I eat monkeys. <laughs> John Void. <laughs> Man, he's a fucking jerk. The bucket of monkey blood, though. It's, it's insane. And I wasn't paying attention. Uh-huh. And I was like, here comes the gasoline, you know? And yeah. I thought it was a thing where he was going to like use fire to attract the snake. I don't know what my thought process sure, was. Sure, whatever. And all of a sudden, it's just the blood. Mo- the, the moth snake. <laughs> Very deadly. So another anaconda shows up. This one's even bigger and better than before. And um, J Lo and Ice Cube get out. Um, John Voight just gets eaten by a snake, right? I he mean, gets what? he gets eaten by the snake. Uh, and it's going after them. He uh, they 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 are trying to like blow up this smokestack or some such business. This is the snake factory where they make the snakes. Correct. Uh, Ice Cube <laughs> is hacking at this thing with an axe that he finds. Yeah, it's, well, I don't know why a snake factory needs an axe, but you know, I will say one thing: uh, Jennifer Lopez at this point, like. She needs to be the. I mean, she did kill one anaconda, but I feel like she needs to be the one with the axe at this point, right? She does. It's her movie. Like, yeah. Ice Cube's badass. Like, he could do she other. She should things. have more to do. Yeah, she's mostly the, just in distress. And the thing is, there's too much of a crew to kill. I guess. I mean, there should be a high body count, but they. You're right. They don't focus on her enough. No, she's it's more of, of an ensemble. It's like it, a, it's like a Robert Altman. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Altman's first anaconda. and last time this comparison's made. <laughs> Oh, is this movie all one shot? Did I miss that? Dude, you missed that part where Keith Carradine's <laughs> just singing folk music? <laughs> oh, this is based on a series of Raymond Carver's short stories. Because I'm easy. <laughs> just romancing Lily Tomlin. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's happening, man. Yeah. That's why Lily Tomlin was the boatmaster. That <laughs> makes so much sense. Actually, on the sitcom that is The Snake Boys... <laughs> Lily Tomlin Ooh. is like the snake master, you know, like yeah. the boat master. That'd yeah, be kind of cool. Yeah, that's something. And she's like the teacher on, uh, you know, what's that show? With all the um, mm-hmm. the, the girls there. Sure, know. yeah, the girls. Tootie and the rest. Oh, uh, Facts of Life. Yeah, yeah, like the, the, the old uh, Mrs. Man. Garrett. Mrs. Garrett, of course. There it was. I couldn't think of it. Oh, my girls. <laughs> I never saw Oh, this. my snake boys. <laughs> I never saw the Facts of Life. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you take I... the good, you take the bad. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how I'm you get just, the facts of life. Right. <laughs> just letting just letting our audience know, hey, you know, because there's a lot of young young oh, folks, yeah, yeah. you know, because like, you know, we hate movies as a hip and with it program. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah, you know, I feel you, youngsters. Oh, please. This is all you half the audience born in listen, the year listen, of listen, Anaconda's listen, listen, release. Listen. 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 Yeah, it's TV. It's, TV oh. happened before Wizards of Waverly Place. Well, this is new media, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck, this snake? Oh, actually, the thing about the the John Voight snake eating, though. Please, we got to talk about this because what are we even thinking with this shit? As the snake is lunging down on John Voight, we get snake internal cam. Yes, yeah, snake cam. Yeah, the the tummy POV. And by the way, yeah. too much snake POV in this movie to begin with. <laughs> That's exactly right. And then this inside, you see this big pink kite sort of fluff up. <laughs> I want to see John Voight go into like a double dare apparatus for this shot because that's hilarious. Exactly. And oh, it was so great. We're watching it at home and like, I'm like, I got to watch Anaconda for the show. And you know, my wife's just hanging out on the couch, like not paying attention, but she happens to look up at this shot and just goes, oh, well, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to the phone. It's so fucking unnecessary. It's ridiculous. Yep. Um, and then he gets thrown up later. Yes, he is regurgitated because the snake is going to eat them. Right. In front, you know, he spits them up in front of J-Lo, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then he winks, which it is, is chilling. It is one of the most famous Perv moves and all of that. Wait, bad so he's cinema. still alive? Yes, he's regurgitated. He's he's on his knees, looking up at J Lo, and winks at her and falls over. Oh, John Voight being regurgitated is him being in those National Treasure movies? Is that? Yep. Is that yes, regurgitated yep. to be in those movies. <laughs> Man, he sucks. He sucks. And actually, you know what? As recently as last year. Uh -oh. The year of our Lord 2015, mm. he's still starring in these baby genius movies. <laughs> what? Yes. And this this most latest one, it's like fucking baby geniuses in a space station. Of course it is. Wait, is oh, it now man. the latest the late wait, baby geniuses in a space station? Is that 2015 or 2016? Because we got January coming up. Unfortunately, I do believe that it's it's 2015. Oh, that's we, unfortunate. We I guess we'll have another listener request month in right. March. So yeah. Baby Geniuses and the Space Baby, 2015. And oh, the, oh, is that where they find the 2001 baby and raise it as its own? Oh, my oh, God. The Baby Geniuses child, discover yeah. the star child. Yeah. Ooh. And maybe they have an existential crisis of where they are in the universe and what life is. Exactly right. Oh, that'd be cool. Hey, by the way, here's something you didn't see coming. They're so smart. You know, they should contemplate philosophy. But continue. <laughs> John Voight. Back to theaters this holiday season because somehow he managed to sneak his way into Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. What? Whoa. Yes, dude. Henry Shaw Sr. Oh, he's probably the landlord. He can't keep it down out there with all those beasts. <laughs> I'll find them. Vote Trump. <laughs> I <swear. laughs> That's all. He, he just comes on the screen. It's Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> You know, fighting a big beast, and he's like, "Vote Trump, thank you." And then that's oh, it. and uh, the conditions of the lease said no pets, Mister Redmayne. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a cute little line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, how and vote Trump. However, he figured that out. But yes, vote Trump, of course. Uh, so he's vomited up. We're like trying to get out of this place. J Lo's like climbing up the smokestack. He's got uh, Ice T has an ice pick. Ice Cube has an, like an ice pick or a, or a pick axe into the snakes. Because you just got finished killing Leon Trotsky. <laughs> right, right, babe? Huh? That's it's the annoying. news and I'm out of here. Speaking of vote Trump. Uh, right into in the snake's tail and like It's like it stuck. And, yeah. and like the snake's trying to get her in the It's crucified stick. just like our Lord Jesus Christ, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that reference. Mm. Yes, for our sins. Um, for our snakes. Sake. And then, like, Ice Cube's pulling a burn on this snake. And, like, J-Lo narrowly escapes and jumps out. And the snake explodes in the smokestack. She's, but, well, she's stuck at the top of the smokestack trying to get out of this, like, this, like, f this fence door thing. Yeah. And, and she should Ice be Cube, setting yeah. the charges, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> she should have more to do. And Ice Cube's just like, use that door. And she's just like, I can't do it. I don't know what's going on. Use oh, you, that door. Oh, you push it. Oh, wait. And then it's just like oh, she just pushes it and it opens. Yeah, I guess she like, just, she didn't try that first. Well, that, 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 what she her line because he, he's like push it the hinges it'll break. Her line should be like, do you think I fucking tried that? You know what I mean? Like, and then as opposed to, oh wow, you're right. That's exactly correct. 
As he just jumps out and explodes. It's, it's your action movie. I'm jumping away from something exploding. Right. And it is fucking hilarious. And this is stupid as shit because <laughs> this whole thing explodes. It goes Presumably, right you would blow up a snake with this force of this explosion. These are oh, no, it's just on fire. And it's these... just like, ah, I'm a snake on fire. <laughs> fire snakes. Well, because he's now... If they're zombie snakes. The only way to kill these things is by destroying the brain. Exactly right. right. And they learned that from the first one that they killed. And I literally <laughs> thought that this was the same thing. <laughs> How did they want, actually it, finally kill this thing? Um, I think it's more. Question. It's another axe job. Oh I, right. Yeah. It, just, you know, it keeps burnt. jumping up. I, I think snake's I, got a final scare. Gets him one more time. Right. Which is whatever. And then Eric Stoltz wakes up. Like, oh man, is this a movie going on? What I miss? Yeah. Slept through it just like he slept through Back to the Future. <laughs> the fucking table reads. I saw you sleeping in that anaconda. Gave me flashbacks to the first three production weeks of my classic film, Back to the Future. By the way, next time I say, do you want to run lines this weekend? You fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it all was. <laughs> He's like, hey, go to my house, run lines. And he's like, oh, I'm kind of busy, man. And that's it. <laughs> for, by the way, for more Christopher Lloyd impressions. Sure. L.A. Podfest, buy the streaming whatever account. Oh, that's right. L.A. Podfest.com, live yeah. stream link. Our code, movies. Yeah. To get, you, to get us on video yelling like Christopher Lloyd and Hulk Hogan. Well, that, that'll be fun. That's right, <laughs> so brother. That's, and like, if any, as if anyone cared. That are like, oh, wow, what a great movie this was. And then the tribe that no one remembered because this movie's nope. been on for an hour and a half and no one remembers why anyone was in the jungle in the first place. <laughs> you know, it's no. it's a, it was a lost tribe, but turns out they're the ones who were lost. Aww. And the tribe helps them and finds them. And then, Isn't like, that sweet? She's like, oh, Ice Cube, go get your camera. And, like, they make the documentary anyway. No. Like, no. These people would be vilified in the media. Like, oh, that, that new movie's coming out about that tribe. Isn't it that people that, like, killed all those other people like and they blew up that snake factory <laughs> you know what i mean like put a whole village out of work <laughs> it would be like blair witch but with snakes i guess <laughs> well it is kind of like a found footage mentality of like oh fuck there they are i gotta keep filming this movie could have easily been found footage oh i'm sure there's been a found footage snake bo- movie by now wasn't Probably. there that found footage tv show lost river was that found footage i, I have no don't idea know what, what you're is. talking about. it was found to be instantly canceled <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know. If, I don't remember if it was found footage. It or was not. found dead on the air. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dead on way. Yeah. This movie is a cool 89 minutes. Ooh, I love I'll that. give it that. With credits, by the way, with all the title sequence and the scroll. So you were talking like an hour and 16 minutes of content, <laughs> which I like. Yeah, we just barely have a feature length film on our hands here. And that's, I mean, again, I, I want more. I mean, like, A, if you're going to ask me, Andrew, I would recommend it. Yeah. I want more movies like this. I want like, but not like schlocky, shitty, winky sci-fi stuff. Right. I want a movie that's a little bit self-aware. It's not boring, but it's not like, it's not Sharknado, which I I hate those movies, and I can't like not hate yes. them in a fun way, but hate them in a. I just don't want to watch that movie. Now here's a confusing bit, and I guess it's because I think you got to work backwards here. So. You go to the the Tribune, and you want to figure out, you're saying, Steve, like, I'd, I'd like more of these movies. Sure, sure, sure. So there's Anacondas calling The Hunt for the Blood Orchid, which, 2004. Are, which I've seen in two different hotel rooms, the same scene. Anaconda colon The Offspring from 2008. Anacondas colon Trail of Blood from 2009, right? But so when you look back at this list, though, it's followed by... Mm-hmm. So it's this movie's 97, followed by Lake Placid 99. Oh, okay. But you're like, well, well how the fuck is that connected? You got to follow it <gasps> no. all the way back up to 2015. What? Where there was a movie called Lake Placid versus Anaconda. Wow. Whoa. That is, that's like a Freddy versus Jason kind of. We were right. waiting for it for decades. So the lake fights the snake. Do the bats show up from bats? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Lou oh, Diamond Phillips. Arachnophobia? Oh, yeah, Anaconda versus arachnophobia? I'll tell you this, though. Lake Placid versus Anaconda? Yeah, you better believe it's starring Robert Englund. Oh, come on. Totally. That <laughs> sucks. Uh, so Steve would recommend it. Eric? Um, yeah, you know, sure. I mean, it's 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 kind of a quintessential bad movie. Sure. Um, it moves at a decent clip, and it's really dumb. So, you know, if you're if you're inclined... 
I'm definitely recommending this movie. Like I said, it's a cool 89 minutes, and that's including all the credits. Uh, but also, again, it's a hangover movie, man. You can we can fall in and out of consciousness watching Apparently this. Apparently, they're all hangover movies to you. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Someone's not got a problem. I would say, but to... <laughs> hashtag someone's got a problem. Reverse for Andrew. It's, uh, to, uh, hashtag someone does have a problem. I... I think it's it's a drinking movie. It's not a hangover movie. Uh-huh. I'm kind of for that too. Like you, you I late it. at night, you're you're shitting around, you're think, spitting fire with your buds. I think Eric and I separately, but both watch this in the morning. I watch this day. at seven a.m. It's not a stone sober <laughs> movie. Like I watched this yesterday at like maybe yeah. eleven thirty in the morning, and yeah. it's like not for that. Yeah, I, it was a it was a nice like eight. PM start time. Yeah, you're home. cracking some beers. You're hanging out. That's okay. It was you know, perfect. Maybe maybe you wake up and you're still drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on. It's the pre hangover movie. I've been there. That's Anaconda from 1997, directed by Luis Yosa. If you want to get a hold of us and find out more information about the show, oh, whmpodcast.com. Sure. Oh no, our new website is patreon.com <laughs> slash well, no, there, is, there is indeed the Patreon, of course. Subscribe to the Patreon, support the show, get bonus content. That is patreon.com slash oh. movies. Also another little announcement. Oh. Um, we have a new t-shirt shop. Oh, oh yeah. right. T Public, we partnered with. So tpublic.com slash we hate movies. And that's T E E Right public.com slash we hate movies if you liked our show posters or, and you, or maybe you were like man i wasn't at the show i don't want to have that post you know it, it these are the same designs without the uh the show dates on them that are you can buy on t-shirts you can buy them on a mug you can buy them on <laughs> and all of those designs <laughs> a ton of shit all those designs done by the great chris walton that is right uh great fan of the show great friend of the show at chris walton 73 Mm-hmm. And that is that is his Twitter handle, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. You, I mean, you could say that out loud, and maybe he'll, <laughs> he'll show up and say it three times. It's like fucking Beetlejuice. <laughs> he'll, he'll, sh- he'll pop into he'll your show living up room and design some fantastic art for you. <laughs> he will. <laughs> uh, so, of course, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We are at WHM Podcast. Do not forget, gang, about the LA Podfest live stream. You go to lapodfest.com, dot uh, com. Click on the live stream package. You can stream all the shows that are happening at LA Podfest, and you will see our pre-recorded show available to watch us talk about Suburban Commando live at the Hollywood Improv. Uh, Again, that's LAPodfest.com. Be sure to use our promo code, by the way, which is MOVIES. M-O-V-I-E-S. Plug that in. Get $5 off the live stream pass for the festival. A lot of great shows going out there. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. And you can hear us and see us talk about Suburban Commando. So there is indeed that. Rate and review the show wherever you get it. We would greatly appreciate it. Now, next week on the program, the show rolls on, and I think at this point I can say it's 50-50. Chris Cabin will be here. And the episode is... Hollow Man. Oh. Well, that's with uh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Oh, oh, he's Bacon. not doing the shitty voice, though. Oh, but he has a snake in his trousers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, like all invisible men before him, he <laughs> sure does. So until next week with Hollow Man, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Seda. Eric Siska. Take it easy. Go on, babies. Back to your mothers. <laughs>